Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet an aligned easy spike stitch. Which you can see here in the front of you, it creates this neat kind of grid-like appearance. It's similar on the front as it is on the back. It is a solid fabric and it's fairly thick as well with these spike stitches. So thank you so much for joining me and don't forget to subscribe. Today we're going to be using a 5mm crochet hook as long at uh, along with some 100% cotton yarn, Pima Cotton by Lion Brand, in two different colors. So we're going to work it in two colors today. It can of course be worked in one or more. Uh, links to these items will be found in the description of the video. You'll also find in the description a direct link to the free written pattern, which is on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me, and uh, don't forget to subscribe, say hello down in the comments, and feel free to take a look around. This channel is updated weekly with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials. For our stitch today, we're going to start by taking our color A and making a slip knot. And for the pattern, we're going to need an even multiple of stitches. So any multiple of two, today I'm going to chain 20. Once you have an even multiple of stitches worked, you're going to begin row one by working a single crochet into the second chain from your hook and then into each chain all the way across. At the end of row one, you're going to chain one and turn your work. For row two, you're going to single crochet into each stitch all the way across, switching to your color B in the final stitch. And I'll show you exactly how I like to do that uh, as I come across here. So single crochet into each stitch all the way across to your final stitch. Once you come across to your final stitch to change to your color B, you're going to single crochet, uh, insert your hook into that final stitch, yarn over and drop a loop. You're then going to drop your color A, pick up your color B and place it on your hook and pull through. You're then ready to continue working with your color B, chain one and turn your work. We're going to leave our color A there attached and pick it up when we come back. The four rows three and four, you're now going to work a single crochet into the first stitch and then into each stitch all the way across, chain one and turn your work. So you're going to work two more rows of single crochet stitches. In that final row and final row four, you're going to switch back to your color A. At the end of row four, you've switched to your color A, chain one, and turn your work. We're now going to begin our spike stitches. We're going to start by working a single crochet into the first stitch for row five, followed by a spike stitch working over top of the next stitch and into the stitch two rows below. Um, so you're kind of inserting your hook underneath that stitch. So working over this next stitch and just under the stitch two rows below work a single crochet. So you're going to insert your hook, yarn over, draw up a loop to the height of a single crochet and yarn over and pull through both loops. You're then going to single crochet into the next stitch and working over the next stitch work a spike stitch again two rows below. You're going to repeat that 
all the way across. Single crochet followed by a spike stitch. Single crochet followed by a spike stitch. Continue all the way across where you will work a single crochet into your final stitch. single crochet in that final stitch, chain one, and then turn. For row six, we're going to work a single crochet into each stitch all the way across, and then switch back to our color B in the final stitch. For row 7, you've chained 1 and turned your work. For row 7 and 8, so for the next 2 rows in your color B, you're going to work a single crochet into each stitch all the way across. At the end of your row 8, you will switch back to your color A. So go ahead, work 2 rows in your color B of single crochet stitches, switching to your color A in that final stitch and uh, then meet me back here for row 9. For row 9, you've switched back to your color A. We're now going to, and you've chained one, turn your work. We're now going to, for row 9, single crochet into this first stitch and work a spike stitch over the next stitch into or under the stitch two rows below. Now this time when we're working with them, our spike stitches are roughly going to line up with the spike stitches down below. So over top of the next stitch, under the next one down below, work a spike stitch, and then single crochet into the next stitch. Spike stitch, followed by a single crochet. And you're going to repeat that all the way across, chain one, turn your work, and that's all there is for the repeat in this pattern. For the rest of the pattern, you're going to repeat rows six, seven, eight, and nine, and uh, then fasten off and weave in your ends, and that's all there is to working this aligned easy spike stitch. So thank you so much for joining me once again. I invite you to take a look around. Don't forget to subscribe and I look forward to seeing you again next week. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.